Roman concrete, or opus cementitium as the ancient Romans called it, was truly a marvel of its time. The recipe for this revolutionary building material differed significantly from the concrete we use today, with its key ingredients being pozzolanic ash, lime, and aggregate. Pozzolanic ash, a volcanic ash known as pozzolana, was abundantly found around the Bay of Naples, particularly in the Pozzuoli region. This ash played a crucial role in the strength and durability of Roman concrete. Lime, on the other hand, was created by heating limestone to produce quicklime, which was then mixed with water to form slaked lime. The combination of pozzolanic ash and lime, along with aggregates such as crushed stone or pottery shards, created a potent mixture that could withstand the test of time. The proportions of these ingredients varied, but a typical mix would consist of one part pozzolanic ash, one part lime, and three parts aggregate. The process of creating Roman concrete was intricate and required precision. Limestone had to be heated to about 900 Celsius to produce quicklime, which was then mixed with water to form slaked lime. The slaked lime was then combined with the pozzolanic ash, and the aggregate was added to the mixture. Once the mixture was prepared, it was poured or placed into the desired form or structure. As the mixture set, a chemical reaction between the lime and pozzolanic ash occurred, creating a strong and durable material. This unique chemical reaction was the secret behind the longevity and resilience of Roman concrete. One of the key characteristics of Roman concrete was its durability. Even in harsh marine environments, structures built with Roman concrete stood the test of time. The pozzolanic reaction between the volcanic ash and lime continued to strengthen the material over time, making it incredibly resilient. Another remarkable feature of Roman concrete was its water resistance. Structures like aqueducts, harbors, and baths utilized Roman concrete because of its ability to set underwater. This made it an ideal building material for structures that needed to withstand constant exposure to water. The workability of Roman concrete was also a significant advantage. The mixture was relatively easy to work with, allowing the Romans to mold it into various shapes and forms. From simple foundations to complex vaults and domes, Roman concrete could be shaped to fit the needs of any architectural design. In recent years, modern studies have shed light on the superior qualities of Roman concrete. Researchers have found that the incorporation of pozzolanic ash significantly contributes to the strength and durability of Roman concrete. The precise methods and chemical interactions that made Roman concrete so resilient are still being investigated with the hope of applying this ancient knowledge to improve modern concrete technology. The legacy of Roman concrete lives on in the ancient structures that still stand today. The Pantheon in Rome, with its iconic dome made of Roman concrete, is a testament to the durability and ingenuity of this ancient building material. As researchers continue to unravel the mysteries of Roman concrete, we gain a deeper appreciation for the craftsmanship and innovation of the ancient Romans.